I'm going to help you work through these because there are some, they get more complicated as you go, as you can see. I'm um, pretty happy with the answers that you can see there. Just quickly, how did I, um, had I confirmed that we knew what's going on? Up the top, there's not really much that happens, is there? g squared versus g, so this one's going to go, you lose that one. Nothing really happens with the 3 and the 4, no common factors. So the 3 and the 4, they just stay put. Moving on to here, what do we lose? Uh, P from the top and the bottom, an A here and an A there, and so you have one A, two Q's, A Q squared. Happy? Does that yeah. make sense? You can see, by the way, just before I get into the next one, I am trying to cancel first, and then I put things together. I could have put everything together and had a new numerator, put everything together and have a new denominator, and then cancel. But you're kind of doing all this extra work here when you can just get rid of things. Get rid of them first, and then combine what's left. Okay. Uh, last one that's already been solved. Uh, you need to take this guy, and all the stuff that we've just showed about cancelling, really only works when we're dealing with multiplication. Product, product, right? We don't have that here. So what do I do to turn this into a product? Yeah, I flip it over. We actually talked about this last time, right? That if you're Is it always the second one. Well, okay. It doesn't really matter, does it? So yeah, when you're dividing, like you know. 14 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 14, they're kind of different numbers, right? So unlike addition and multiplication, where you can just change the order and do whatever you like, division, it does matter. So therefore, it would be the same. So the line of working that would precede this would be 9 on 10 km times. And the word we have for this, by the way, when we turn it upside down, Let's be a little more technical about it. It's the reciprocal, right? So 5m on 6 is the reciprocal. I beg your pardon? Wait, you're talking about this one? Yeah, so, so this one stays put. This one stays put. It's only the second one. Well, okay, so let's come back to this one. Um, it is Let's come back to this guy. You've got division there, and it works exactly the same way. I'm going to use the reciprocal, but I'm going to do it with the second. I mean, everyone knows what the answer to this is, right? Okay, so thank you. But if I do, like, if I do this, everything's happy as Larry, right? Because half of 14 is still 7. But if I wrote this and did the reciprocal of both, I'm kind of in trouble. Right? This is like some tiny small number, 1 over 28. There's nothing to do with it. So you're really only doing the second one. Um, I guess the way that this really actually makes sense is that it's all about this operation. That's, not, that's what you're flipping, really. It's not like, I'm just going to find any numbers and just turn them upside down. It's because the 2 goes with the division. 14 doesn't have an operation on it. So that's the thing that goes together. That's why it turns into that. Okay. All right, so let's come back over. Uh, let's have a look at the cancelling that can take place now, right? Loads of cancelling can take place. I better use a different color. Right? So you can see there's an M and an M there. That's easy. 9 and 6, uh, they're both multiples of three. Three. 3. So I divide both of them by 3. That gives me 3 and 2. You can see where that comes from now. What other things can I cancel? The 10 and 5. Yeah, the 5 and the 10, both multiples of 5. So, whoops. so I divide both of those. Is there anything left? There's nothing left. Um, everything on the top is gone except for the 3. Here you've got 2, K, and 2. And that gives you the 4. Make sense? Really? Okay, now for these last two, I'm going to do it live. I'm just going to show you one I prepared. Oh, here's one I prepared. Oh, that's totally what it is. Okay, so now just pause for a second. I want to point out a few things here. Number one, remember I said to you, colors are a superpower, right? I wasn't joking, okay? A lot of you have gotten confused because you're like, what am I crossing out when? And I'm not sure what goes with what. So it doesn't matter which colors you use, so long as you know what you're doing. You can see that I've tried to do it well with coefficients, these numbers. I've done them in red on this question, right? Um, can you see 21 and 7? 21 and 7? Why did I do some canceling there? Because they are both multiples, multiples of seven, right? So I divided them both. He disappeared, left me with three. Same deal happens here, but divided by five. The rest of the algebra just goes. And this question is no harder than any of the three that preceded it. It's just kind of longer, and there's more there, right? So it's kind of interesting. I mean, 
picture in my head. Um, if you can like wait across like a tiny little puddle, it's a meter wide. Okay, then you can do the same thing for a really big puddle that's 50 meters wide, but it's, it's still that shallow, right? It will just take you longer. It's a lot more difficult. As opposed to some questions, they're really deep, like they're short questions, but it's like I didn't, I didn't know what to do with this thing. You know exactly what to do with this. You did the first three. Um, there's my answer, 9MP on N squared. And the same kind of thing is happening here, it's just longer. So if you like, if you didn't get to five, you can jot that answer down. You can go through the same cancelling process that I went through. Um, and you can see why the cancelling makes sense to do this first. If you do 16 times 81, you get 1,296, right? Which is fine, it's right, it's just huge. And I can't do anything with that number. Whereas um, once you start to cancel things out, you only get left with an iron. I can tame that, okay? So, happy times. Any questions? Uh, what are the colors mean? Okay. Like why uh, you wait for that thing in green? Yeah, yeah, sure. Look, honestly, um, you do whatever feels comfortable with you. All I wanted to do was make sure I didn't confuse, like, for me, like, there are letters, the pronoun rules, and there are numbers, and they do behave differently, right? Like, see that two? That's not like a two at the front of a number. That means there's P times P. It, it means something different. So that's why in this case, I didn't do it with that one. I just ran out of colors for that one. In this case, I left red for coefficients, for numbers, and green for pronouns, for letters. Okay? Um, but the important thing, as with most systems, is so long as you have a system, it doesn't matter if it's someone else's one, as long as you can make sense of it.